All right, my friends, today we're going to jump right into a fall DIY. I have a couple of things um, that it's in my thoughts that I wanted to share with you. I love making bows, all kinds of bows. And so I really don't know what they turn out to be until I'm done with them. I just kind of put like a concoction of different patterns together. And sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. So today will be um, more of a fall theme, putting some sunflowers, some cheetah prints, um, haven't decided all the colors until we get to the end. Of course, then you will see that. So that'll be a surprise to you. And what I'm doing is I'm taking the ends of them. One end I'm cutting at a slant. The other end I'm cutting as dovetail. And one of my favorite things I love to do is always put buffalo checks somewhere if I can possibly. It's just one of those things I still love, not tired of, but you do you. So if you don't like the buffalo check, put another pattern in, okay? So I'm just bunching them up in little loops. And as you can see, I'm gonna crisscross these two um, patterns and of course ribbon together. I believe both of these came from Hobby Lobby last year. I got them at 50% off. So I'm trying to decide which way I really wanted to put the bow, decide to crisscross it. But looking at it now, I felt like I probably should have added a third pattern in there somewhere and um, yeah you'll take notice of that at the end so I just loop these little curly things that you can find at Dollar Tree bunch those up together just pinch them in your hands lay them over on the top You can also probably wind up using raffia for this as well if you have it. If you can't find raffia, you know that Dollar Tree is also carrying those like grass hoop um, skirts that are really cute. So grab those grass skirts, say that really fast by the way, <laughs> and um, cut those up and you can probably use that for your raffia. So I'm separating the raffia, just twisting it around my hand, more like looping it. You see that I off, didn't get to see it. It's off camera for a moment, but it's very simple. You can also just bunch it up in your hand if you choose to. Now you're just gonna put them all together. See how cute that is? Some people might want to put a tie behind this, but I like to use the popsicle. Um, well, they're not popsicle sticks. They're actually pipe cleaners. But I like to use those only because if I make a mistake, then I can undo it and then put them back on. I just find it's easier. So you just do you. Twisting it on the back. Fluffing it a little bit. And see what I see? See what I'm talking about? You can see the two bow styles, the big loops, but I really felt like I needed to add a third one in there. And most of the time I do, but I don't know why I didn't do it with this one. So I may go back and change it up. But I do like all the little cute little loops, the loops in the fronts. And then I'm taking some leftover fall flowers from last year. I'm just gonna glue those right in there. If you don't wanna do this part, it's not necessary but I wanted to bring a little bit of that color in and then these cute little sunflower stickers someone sent me. I thought would be a cute little addition to add to the front of it as well. <clears throat> so I was trying to determine what size I wanted to go with. Now we're gonna glue these in place. If you're gonna be storing this outdoors, I suggest you use something other than the Gorilla Glue, something more permanent, maybe an E6000 or even a better hold if that, if it's necessary. Putting that extra little glue behind there. Okay, 
Now we're going to put that cute little bright sunflower right in the center. Really simple, easy, just twist it around, fiddle with it, place it however you choose. Pulling those loops down so you can see that buffalo check a little bit better. Now I'm just gonna attach it to the top of my um, candle holder that I have there. And that's it, my friends. Hello, my friends. Today we are gonna be doing um, a DIY. It's gonna be, I guess, fall theme, but if you're into sunflowers and buffalo check, it could be year round depending on your taste. So I just got an antibacterial uh, wipe to kind of help remove some of the stickiness of, you know, you see the tab that's here. It makes it easier to remove. And then I'm just putting a little bit of Mod Podge into a cup and I have this Buffalo check um, napkin. I, I have several of them honestly in my stash because I do like Buffalo check quite a bit. So I'm just taking the buff, um, taking the paste <laughs> of the Mod Podge and I'm just placing it all around the candle and then cutting it to fit the size of the candle, which you can find these at Dollar Tree, by the way. And I realized that there was two ply. I thought I had grabbed them all, but I didn't. So I had to go back over and do it again. But you know, that just happens. It happens to us all. So again, I'm just placing another thin coat of the Mod Podge all over this glass of the candle. And you can find these at Dollar Tree, by the way. They're so useful great little gifts I was making a decision on where I wanted to place it so I started to decide this the opposite end of what I was gonna do was my best choice and then wrap it around and smooth it out as you go and then that way you can try to make sure that your edges um, are straight and match your pattern you're just gonna tap a little bit of extra glue there, especially where the two ends are gonna meet, just to make sure you have that extra little bond. And then I'm gonna top around the very top of it, um, just to curve that napkin over the lip just a little bit. and then giving an extra little coverage there. Very light one, don't make it too wet because it will tear the napkin. Okay, so I have this uh, sunflower napkin that was left over from last year. It's a really cute pattern. And so I'm gonna just cut this out and kind of trim around the outer edges of the flowers. and I took a little bit of glue and put it on my finger to make sure it would be easy enough to pull off. Again, you're gonna put another little thin coat of the Mod Podge on. You can also use Elmer's glue. I originally was gonna stick down the whole print, but I realized it covered too much of my Buffalo check. So that's when I decided to just go around and do around the edges of the flower so it would be the focal point. And that way too, you can use your leftovers and make something else with it. Okay, see, now it doesn't cover it as much. So again, we add another little layer. Place it wherever you desire. It looks so much better this way than covering the whole pattern of Buffalo checkup. And then you're just gonna tap around the outer edges just to secure it in place. 
just a little tap, tap, tap. Now I decided to do a little extra. It's not something you have to do, but I took my jute string here and I wanna attach it to the bottom. My glue was not quite hot enough, so I had to go in for the second time <laughs> and try it again. But I started to loop it around, you'll see in just a few seconds, I believe it was four times, just to give a little bit of an accent, that country feel, little rustic feel. So you're just gonna twist around, like I said, there's two, three, four times. You can probably go up to five or six, depending on what you like. Now we're going to fix that problem where the jute wants to slip off on the very bottom. We're going to go around and add just a small bead of glue around the bottom edge of the jute. So that way it doesn't slip off. Holds it in place. And we're going to do the same thing at the very top because that there's a small little lip in this can uh, candle that you will be able to just go right in that little indention of that lip and it'll make it look very natural like it was supposed to have been there now i wanted to add a little extra greenery in there just for a little pop again this is just your desired taste. I cut those in half. They're, I believe it's called boxwood. You can find that at Walmart, Hobby Lobby. Uh, sometimes even Dollar Tree carries it. And then I took that jute string and tied a tiny little bow. I want to place that right in the center. And there we have it, my folks, a very simple, easy DIY for Sunflowers Buffalo Check. So I hope that you really, really enjoy this. Go check out my blog.